Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the concept of a scanning and analysis tools, guys. So basically, we don't know that when a vulnerability or when an attack could occur, right? Yes. So we should always make sure that our system is 100% functional and we need to do some scanning and analysis of our application or of our network properly, right? Yes. So that is the concept which we will be discussing here, guys. Okay. And we will be discussing about some tools also which you can use. Okay. Yes. To make the network secure in an organization, an authority should be there so that he or she should have a complete knowledge about where the need of security is there. Okay, so assume that you are a huge organization and you are the head of the company and you know everything guys about the company, like where there could be an attack like that kind of attack or this kind of attack, you know everything. So in that situation, creating or protecting those fields will be really easy, right? Yes. So that is the reason why we should have someone who has a complete knowledge. Okay. Yes. So the information security expert use the various types of tools where some of them are complex and some of them are very simple in nature. So basically the administrator or the expert will be using these tools to identify the vulnerabilities and to resolve those vulnerabilities with his ideas guys. Okay. So the scanning and analysis tools can be used to find the vulnerabilities. Okay, that's what I was saying to find the vulnerability in the system and security holes in the individual system components like host routers and firewalls. Okay. Yes. So scanning tools are also used to collect the information of the attacker. So basically if something happens, we can even collect the data of the attacker with the help of these tools guys. Okay. Yes. Okay. So here we will be discussing about a few concepts guys. Okay. So the first is nothing but attack protocol guys. Okay. So when we will or what we will be calling it as attack protocol is nothing but attack protocol is the process or steps used by an attacker to launch an attack. So basically to launch an attack, he will be following some steps and rules or something he will be following, right? Yes. So those things, if we are identifying, so those steps are nothing but the attack protocol, guys. Okay. So I hope everyone got some basic idea, right? Yes. Okay. So the second thing is nothing but footprints. So footprints, this, these things are really easy to understand. So footprint is the act of gathering information about the security profile of the complete system. So basically here you will be identifying the systems footprints guys like what is the status and what are the things happening in the system and everything will be identified here okay and the next one is nothing but fingerprinting so the next step is to collect the pre-attacker data so basically if attack is going to happen what it could happen like that so basically even if you forget these three things it's not that much important guys but the important thing is the tools guys so we'll be discussing about five tools i think so five or six Okay, six tools exactly. Okay, so we'll be discussing about six, six tools. Please make sure that you are, you are remembering these names and their explanation guys because these things are really important, right? Yes. So the first tool is nothing but post scanning. Okay, so post scanning from the name only you can say post after something happened you will be scanning it, right? Yes. So post scanning is a tool used by the attacker and defender. So basically it could be used by both the good person and the bad person. The attacker and the defender okay to identify the active hosts and services in the network okay so assume that you are connected in a huge network guys so in your whole network how many systems or how many hosts are active or how many ports are active even ports they will be saying as prts okay yes how many of them are active you will be identifying with this application guys okay yes okay so basically what is a port port is something that through which you can connect to the system guys it is a network channel or connecting point in a data communication system so basically if i know your port number and your ip address and everything i if and I, your system and my system are connected in a network this is your system and this is my system they are connected in a huge network in this situation if you i know your port number i can transmit data to you and i can request data from you directly right so that could lead to an issue so basically open port is used by an attacker with an aim to send and and command on your system so basically he can use this open port as an advantage for him and he can do any kind of attack on your system so that is identified by our first tool that is nothing but a post scanning guys okay so the second tool is nothing but a firewall analysis tool so from the name only you can say so it is doing something on firewall analysis right Yes. So what does a firewall consist guys? I told you in our last previous series, I think we discussed. So firewall is nothing but it will be having some set of rules 
which passes the rules will be entered inside which do not pass the rules will be rejected and pushed outside right yes so basically if i know these rules i can satisfy the rules easily right yes so that information could be captured by using this firewall analysis tool so it is a tool used by an organization to know the exact location and the rules of the security right yes its main aim is to determine what exactly the attacker allows and rejects right yes so this is about the firewall analysis guys okay okay so the third type is nothing but operating system detection tool so again from the name so here we are trying to detect the operating system so guys i'm not being biased i'm just saying as an example okay so even i am a windows user guys so basically whenever we are taking an example with security the best example will be with the windows and mac guys so basically everyone will be saying mac is more secure right yes whereas the windows is a less secured when compared to mac yes so that's true right yes so whenever an attacker tries to identify the operating system and he identified that it is windows he'll be feeling a bit happy because it could be you can install any kind of application and you can enter into it really easily whereas if he identifies it is as a mac os or macintosh so in that situation he'll be getting a bit scared right yes because even if he want to send a command or send a file to start capturing his system he cannot do it because there will be multiple permissions and all those things in mac right so i i never used mac i i just listened about it multiple times guys okay so operating system detection tools used by the networking okay protocol with an aim to determine which operating system is running behind an attacker's system so basically it can be used by both the positive guy and the negative guy also okay so it helps to know the various vulnerabilities going to going to access the system okay so now let us continue with the next uh, scanner that is nothing but vulnerability scanner so vulnerability scanner is a software tool which helps to secure own network or it can be used by an attacker to identify the weaknesses in the system to mount an attack so basically vulnerability scanner is nothing but it is saying vulnerabilities right so you, it will be saying that this password is really weak it is a four digit number so it, if it is a vulnerability right who cannot crack the four digit number guys it will take some time but a system with brute forcing mechanism can crack in some hours guys like it max i think so in hours it can crack right yes so that is the reason why these kind of vulnerabilities if they are identified by the company they can do some changes and they can make it into numerical on everything and to make it into eight digit right yes. so in that way it can do it right so that's an advantage but if it is in in terms of attacker's hand he can just brute force it and he can get into the system so those kind of things can be identified by this vulnerability scanner similarly packet sniffer okay so packet sniffer is also called as a network analyzer guys so sniffing is nothing but like how dog will be sniffing for the smell right yes so in the same way here we will be sniffing for the packets like we will be copying the packets and we'll be trying to open and we'll be checking the data inside the packets so that is the main goal here okay so it is a tool that gathers a various copies of packets from the network and decodes the content so it will try to decode guys because if it is encrypted properly we cannot decode it right yes so in a wrong hands a sniff attack can be called as ear drop guys e a v e r drop okay so that is nothing but ear drop listening so basically you as an attacker will be listening in between the conversation between the two users right so you'll be in between and you'll be listening things right so that thing can be possible similarly wireless security tools so the 802.11b standard includes a provision for encrypting encryption called wired equivalent privacy so basically this wired equivalent privacy will act exactly like the previous wired connection guys okay so basically even in wireless what are the issues which we discussed till now could occur in wireless also right yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea about the tools and scanning and the process so in the next sorry in the next lecture we will be discussing about the access control guys okay sorry for that so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching